Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So this is going to be for the weekend of um, December 24th through the 27th. So happy holidays. Merry Christmas to whoever's celebrating a holiday uh, this weekend. Um, I'm sorry I'm a little late with this, guys. As you know, I have Kim here from Kim K Crystals behind me munching on gummy bears. <laughs> Say hi. Hi, everyone. Well, you see her hands, so you don't see her face, but she's here. <laughs> So, my loves, let's go ahead and get started here. Um, if you would like to book a personal reading, the email is below, cancerbabyinfo at gmail. Um, uh, do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I do choose multiple winners every single week. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, palo santo, sage, jewelry, runes, crystals, books, Bibles. It is a lot of fun, okay? I do a $250 giveaway every month. Um... The email is below, manifestlove777 at gmail.com to go ahead and manifest what you would like to win in the giveaway. Um, and of course, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced, okay? All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get shuffled up here. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Cancers, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for December 24th through the 27th, please, Holy Spirit. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Cancers, please. December 24th through the 27th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. All right, so we have here the Devil. First card out, Capricorn Energy. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Queen of Swords. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra Energy. We have the Hanged Man, Piscean Energy, and we have the Eight of Wands. I have to fix my tablecloth, it's getting all crazy. So the Eight of Wands, that is going to make me nuts. All right, um, so Cancer, what do we have here? So what I'm feeling is that we have a shoes on the other foot type of feeling here. With that devil card and that wheel of fortune, um, I feel like somebody wants something from you, Cancer, but you have learned to protect whatever it is that they want, okay? Um, now, again, these readings can be love, friends, family. It could be anything. What we have here is someone that's yearning for something. There's something here that you can provide, Cancer, that this person is waiting on, okay? And it's 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 like this person is obsessed with getting it from you. But you have your back turned to this person, as you could see here with this Queen of Swords energy. Let me just show you these cards. You have your back turned to this person. So they're sitting there waiting for something, and you have your back, you have your back turned. I feel like this person is waiting on maybe communication from you or they're waiting for an answer or they're waiting to hear from you or they're waiting to see you because with that hanged man and that eight of wands energy, this is a conversation that's being stalled or this is you not wanting to talk about something or maybe not speaking as much. Someone here is waiting. And with that devil energy and that wheel of fortune, it's almost like I don't know, maybe someone here is facing some karma, like the shoe's on the other foot and they're kind of pissed about it. Yeah, but you're learning how to protect yourself. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Ten of Pentacles. The Death card, Scorpionic Energy. The Knight of Wands, Leo Sag Aries Energy. We have the Emperor, Aries Taurus energy, and the Ace of Cups. Cancer, I feel like this person is trying to tell you that they've changed. They're trying to come in as an Emperor. They're trying to offer their full heart. They're telling you, 
king of wands. I'm not a player no more. I don't want that life. I'm not about that life. No, they, they're literally telling you that they are, you know, wanting to commit. They, that you have their whole heart. They're overflowing with romance and love. This person is making plans of wanting a future with you. Um, literally talking about making plans, wanting a future with you. I feel that you, t you know what it is, Cancer? Ultimately, you turned your back on somebody. You don't, you don't speak the way you used to speak. You think before you act. You think before you speak. Because ultimately, this hanged man energy, it's an energy of waiting, sacrificing, waiting, and then making a decision, coming from a place of enlightenment, okay? Um, so it's like before you act, you take a minute and you think, is this for my best interest? You're no longer maybe coming from a place of like, you know, that emotional need to constantly want to fulfill somebody's desires. Before you move or before you talk, you think. You understand? And it might be slowing things down a bit. And it's making this person want to come in and tell you, no, Cancer, I'm not a player anymore. You can trust me. I, I, you know, I'm committing to you. I'm doing all of these things. We've got the Nine of Swords energy here. So someone's not doing well. Either you, Cancer, or your person. I don't know. But someone's up at night having a hard time here. Someone's not sleeping. Someone is just uh, very worried. Very anxious. King of Cups, Cancer Energy. We have the Four of Swords. And we have the King of Swords. So now we've got the King to the Queen of Swords here, a true pair. We have the Seven of Cups. And we have the fool. Cancer, I feel like you're stressed out here because you just want to... I feel like this is not someone new, guys. I gotta be honest. This is not someone new. This is someone that you have a history with. This is someone that possibly pay, plays a lot of mind games. This is possibly someone that's put you in a third-party situation before. Or maybe someone that likes a lot of attention from third-party situations with that King of Wands energy. Um... I feel, Cancer, that you're a little worried here because you just want to... You're speaking your truth here when you say that you just want to heal and you want to be in peace. And I feel like you're just not sure if this person is really committed because with that Seven of Cups and that Fool card... I mean, the Fool card, look at that. He's, you know, this this is not someone pulling up with a moving truck. He's got a knapsack there. This is someone that's, you know, there for the night. They, this is not someone that stays in one place. And especially when he's facing, you know, the Seven of Cups, this is someone who's confused. They don't don't know what they want multiple options now i'm not saying that that's what your person is feeling i do feel though that you are in this energy of feeling that you just don't know if you can trust this person or not and you're still in the process of healing perhaps from this you know knight of wands energy that this person has shown previously So let's go ahead and clarify here, Cancer. Yeah, this is a matter of you're just, you know, you don't trust this person, even though they appear to be coming in. You've just, you're treating them differently, Cancer. You're treating them way differently. Tell me about the devil. The Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So you see, Cancer, you used to be in this energy of being quick. That I mean, literally, look at the word underneath here. Swiftness. Do you see that? That's literally, I mean, it's, it's a very fast moving card and you, you're you just not moving like you used to because we've got the Knight of Pentacles here, which is very slow moving energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Excruciatingly slow. Okay, excruciatingly slow. And with that devil card, it's really someone here is becoming impatient and they're becoming obsessive. With the hermit and the Virgo card here, you're not as, how can I put this? You're not as vocal. You're not as exposed. You're kind of minding your business. You're doing your own thing, doing your own soul searching. And it's really starting to aggravate somebody. Three of wands 
and the seven of wands. Yes, yeah, someone here feels like they're being blocked from, from something here, but you're not blocking, you're just putting up boundaries. Queen of Swords to the King of Swords. We have a true pair on the board here. There is a soulmate connection, um, which is very defensive. The Hanged Man and the Six of Swords. Here's the deal, guys. You're done with the drama. You're done with the games. You're done with the, you're just done with a lot of stuff here. And I feel like you yourself are moving on to more peaceful waters. And you've just learned the simple lesson. I'm going to think before I act. I'm going to think before I make promises. I'm going to think before I do things. Because here's the bottom line, Cancer. A lot of times we do things, do things, do things for people. We just do. You know, all of us just do. You know, Cancers have that very nurturing energy. And when things don't go our way, sometimes we have the habits, especially those of us with like a broken bird syndrome, have the habit of getting upset. So now we're in this energy of just thinking twice. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's forcing me to give to people. Nobody's forcing me to say yes or no. No one's forcing me to do these things. So I'm just going to think, you know, and I feel like that's you taking yourself out of the toxicity. Eight of wands and the two of cups. So when you do things in your relationship, when you do things in the name of love, when you do things for your person, you're thinking. We've got the ace of wands and the lover's card here. We've got the ten of pentacles and the ace of swords. So the lover's card does talk about making a decision, Cancer, and I feel like this person, um, we may possibly be dealing with someone who has a lot of options because it would appear that they are choosing you. They are coming in saying, listen, I'm aware that you are my ten of pentacles, that you are my happily ever after, and I am willing to change. The four of pentacles and the death card. So whatever this person was holding back before, they're willing to give it now. Knight of wands and the queen of cups. They're pursuing you, Cancer. And we also have the king to the queen of cups here. They're pursuing you. The Emperor and the Four of Swords. This Emperor does want to recover the situation. They want to heal the situation. With the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Swords, um, Cancer, I feel like you guys are both not doing well. This person is stressed out because they're trying to give you their heart, and you're stressed out because you don't believe them. Nine of Swords and the Strength card. Yeah, you want to hold back. King of Cups and the Four of Cups. You're not really... You know, this person, they're coming at you maybe in a way that you wish they would have before. You're not super excited about the offer, Cancer. Four of Cups, you know, that's you just being dissatisfied, not really jumping on it. The Strength card, you're taming your emotions, pulling back. Four of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles, because you are the Ten of Pentacles, Cancer. You have the abundance here, okay? You, you know... You are the one that has more to offer in this connection. There's one person here that's got more to offer than the other. King of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. And this person knows it. They see the truth for what it is. They see the truth for what it is. Seven of Cups and the Unknown card. The Fool card. And the Magician. Cancer, Piscean Energy. So there's this energy of just... I don't, we don't know how this ends. <laughs> I mean, spirits literally like someone here is manifesting a new beginning. They're manifesting for you to take that leap of faith. But with the seven of cups and the unknown card, it's like someone's just like, I don't want to walk in the dark. I don't want to be in a position where I don't know if somebody wants to be with me or not. I don't want to be in a position where I don't know what's going to happen. But someone's manifesting. Someone's manifesting, or it could be that someone here is a manipulator and you just never, you never know if they're speaking their truth or not. We have peace and we have loss. Your peace is someone else's loss. Plain and simple. Look at these two cards. You see that? Someone, you know, this person, whoever we're speaking about here, has come to rely on you, Cancer. They've come to rely on you. Now they see you as abundant, probably because you're really ready to walk away. But you're in peace. You're doing your own thing. You know what I'm saying? You're in peace. You're doing your own thing. And this person feels the loss. They feel you're loving them differently. You're acting differently, Cancer. Joyous, fun, and your higher self. I feel like you've raised your vibration. You're enjoying life. You're having a good time. And this person's not used to it. They're not used to They're used to being able to drive you crazy. Deceit, the thinking woman, and caring connection. So I feel like you haven't forgotten cancer. It's always in the back. This person's deceitful nature 
okay, is always in the back of your mind. Even though it's a soulmate connection, even though you've made up, even though you forgive this person, and even though you're having picnics and dancing in the rain and all that great stuff, you are you have not forgotten who this person really is. And that's what it is. It's like they can't get to you anymore. Do you understand cancer? Chemistry? And this could be the one. So you are being drawn to this person, cancer, because... You know, it is a soulmate connection. You guys do have a strong soul tie. Problem is, is that, you know, not all soulmates are meant to be together. Some of them just come into your life for a lesson and some of them are your divine soulmate. Now, I do have to make one thing clear. You do have the Wheel of Fortune here twice, which is a divinely guided soulmate. This is the divine working in your favor. So let's take it into the extended and let's see... Um, What's going to happen with this king and queen of swords? You know what I'm saying? What is this king of, of swords intentions? You know, are they still going to cheat? Have they really chosen? Is this true here that they want you and only you? Um, you know, and if you should reconcile, what kind of outcome do we see here? Okay. All right, guys, the link for the extended will be in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you. Bye.